Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie. We are currently in Cameron Highlands. We arrived yesterday. We got a bus from Kuala Lumpur to Cameron Highlands. It was expected to take five hours. It actually took four hours, which was good because it was quite a windy road. And towards the end, I was getting a bit like, a bit ill. So we arrived last night. We came to our Airbnb. Um, we've got a double bed with some bunk beds. I'll show you that later on. But we arrived last night, got some food, and I had the most bland food I've had in months. It was basically rice with an omelette with like zero flavourings. It was awful. <laughs> and it was also raining last night and it's cold up here. So we're actually wearing jeans and jumpers today. I'm wearing leggings. It's exciting for me because I've been carrying around all these kind of winter clothes for the past six months. And we've been wearing shorts and t-shirts. So it's nice that I can actually wear my jumpers and things like that and kind of get warm and cozy. I've also got my scarf I can wear. So I'm excited about that. I've also straightened my hair for the first time in months. I've been carrying my hair straighteners around, but because we're always going to really, really hot, humid places, there's literally no point because as soon as we step outside, my hair goes up because my neck gets sweaty. I know that's gross, but that's just like a fact of life. So I've straightened my hair, so I'm happy about that. But we are gonna go out and explore a little bit today. We did not sleep well last night because there was mosquitoes in the room and I cannot sleep if there's a mosquito buzzing around my face. Like I just, I just cannot sleep. So I was up all night until about 6.30. I think I eventually put my phone down and tried to sleep even though there was still a mosquito buzzing around. So I was up until 6.30 in the morning, like turning the light on, trying to kill mosquitoes, turning the light off, trying to get back to sleep. It buzzing around my face. So I slept till midday. I'm still a bit tired today from the journey and also from not sleeping last night. But we do want to go out and explore before it starts raining again maybe just kind of walk around because obviously we've not done much today we were sat on the bus all day yesterday so let's go explore cameron highlands so a little bit of information cameron highlands was discovered in 1885 by someone called william cameron hence the name and it's basically famous for tea plantations hiking and strawberries and there's actually quite a strong english influence here there's a lot of places selling scones um, afternoon tea, obviously strawberry jam, strawberry donuts, um, scones with strawberry jam, things like that. So it's actually quite a cute place and I think also the rain and the weather is reminding me of England. It's a little bit cold here, which is actually quite nice. But we're currently going to walk into town and hope we find somewhere for lunch. So we are arriving into town. There's loads and loads of cars. It wasn't like this yesterday. But you can see some of the buildings that there. I didn't actually vlog yesterday just because I was kind of tired. But um, that's like the main street I guess with shops and things and there's more down this way as well. So I'm still walking to try and find somewhere for food but it kind of reminds me of Oxapampa in Peru in terms of like the mountains and how the clouds are really low and it's kind of cold but warm as well. I don't know. It's cute anyway. There's a Starbucks down here we saw last night and a couple of different cafes and restaurants and things so I'm sure we'll find something to eat. Okay, so we've got some Indian food, we've got some green beans, some dal, some, what's that called? Uh, that's eggplant, right? Eggplant, but what's that in English? Aubergine. Aubergine. Rice with some dal and some chicken as well. So like I said earlier, there's lots of strawberries for sale here. <laughs> and this person's also selling chocolate pots. You can buy strawberries and some chocolate. That sounds delish, maybe we'll get that for dessert tonight. Yeah. Okay, we've got some strawberries and some chocolate, so I'll have that in a minute. Um, but there's the Starbucks I was telling you about. There's also a couple of restaurants and things along here. It's almost about to rain, like we've had a couple of drips. But we're going to walk up here and then turn right. Okay, it's raining, so we've decided to sit under a bus shelter and eat some strawberries with chocolate sauce. So I thought, hey, I'm going to try it. So we looked on the map and decided we're going to do hike number nine which goes to Robinson's Falls. You can see the little green sign there which is down this way. So it is raining. We probably should just be heading home and getting some work done but like I said earlier we've not kind of walked much recently this last couple of days so we're doing it anyway even though it is raining. <laughs> starting to get wet toes because my shoes aren't waterproof but that's fun part of the adventure so to get to Robinson Falls we're going to cross this bridge and walk past the animal feeding rainbow garden this is so cute it would be nice if it wasn't raining but never mind <laughs> we're still going this is the animal feeding thing I don't know if you can see but there's goats and sheep and like llamas or something down there if you ever want to feed any animals, oh there's rabbits down there, cute, 
And there there's chickens. Anyway, we're now actually going on a jungle walk. So I hope it's not too slidey now that it's wet. Right, we are going the right direction. Jungle walk number nine to Robinson Falls. This is the view. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, the hair has gone up because my neck is getting sweaty because it's very, very humid, it's raining. Um, we've kind of come to a little spot where we're not getting rained on, which is nice. But we've done about a quarter of the hike and the road is very slippy. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up on my bum at some point. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm just going to try and not make that happen. But then, right, I'm going to put my phone away so I have my hands in case I want to fall. Not want to fall, in case I do fall. So I'll talk to you when we get to the waterfalls. Okay, it's a bit loud and I just fell over and like hurt my wrist a little bit. I'm fine, but I just slipped on the rock. But we've come to a big waterfall. I'm pretty sure we could carry on, keep going down there, but it's a bit slidey, so I think this might just have to do for today. This is the waterfall here. Yeah. So carried on down there. And then the path also carries on, so I'm pretty sure we could carry on. I'm just not sure if we're going to be honest. Put your mind there you go. That's cool. So we carried on a little bit and we came to this kind of intersection where there's either steps going down with a door in front of it, but the door is open. And I think I might slide down there and fall on my bum. And then we went that way a little bit and it got quite bushy. And I just thought, do you know what? I don't want to come face to face with like any wild animals or get lost. So we're just gonna go back to where we came. So if you do come this way to see the waterfall, it is just where I showed you earlier, basically. So I just want to say it is so nice to be walking in nature, even if it is raining, it kind of reminds me of home. Because the amount of time I spent in the Lake District in the north of England, like hiking in the rain when I was a kid, and now to be doing it and see ferns, like fern plants always around me, home, and like moss on the bricks, not bricks, like on the walls and like stones and leaves on the floor, it's just so nice to breathe in fresh air and um, just be in nature a little bit. It's lovely. Okay, the hair is up, so I'm glad I straightened it this morning. <laughs> but we're walking past my, my cake home, and I thought the wall of the interiors is really cute, so I'm just going to show you that. It's the interiors, it's like a Parisian cafe, which I thought was really cute. And it's our cakes. Anyway, we'll walk along here. I did mention to Jeremy about getting a hot chocolate, so we'll see because it's a bit cold and rainy and miserable. <laughs> okay, so this is our Airbnb. We're a little bit out of town, but we're around the middle floor. You can see the door is open the plants. Good morning everyone, it's the very next day. Um, I didn't end up vlogging last night, mainly because it was raining. It basically rained all day yesterday. But we ended up going to somewhere called the Barracks for dinner and we had a plate of pasta each and some onion rings to share. So it's currently 12.40. We are currently making our way down the main road on the way to some tea plantations. There was two that we passed on the way here that looked quite nice. So we're gonna go there. Jeremy's got his drone, I've got my camera. I'm obviously vlogging again, again today because I don't think yesterday's was very long, actually. I don't think I ended up filming too much. So I'm excited to show you around a little bit more of Cameron Highlands. I'm excited to see more of Cameron Highlands and also to see the tea plantations. So I was saying to Jeremy yesterday when we are on our walk how fern plants always remind me of home, but you always see fern plants on the floor. And here it's almost like they're fern palm trees. It's so interesting, like it's probably a palm tree but just with like fern leaves. There's usually ferns like on the floor. Anyway, just thought I would show you that now the motorbike's gone. <laughs> this is our current kind of situation, we're walking down here. Okay, so we are making our way to Cameron Valley. This is number two. There's another one that's further down that is number one and this is packed. There's all parking all along the street. There's buses. <laughs> There's lots and lots of people. But we had a quick look inside. I didn't show you just because it was literally just in and out. But they do do food, so I think we're going to get food there later on. But, um, but let me show you the view though. It looks so cool. The way that it's almost like a pattern in the plants. It's so beautiful. And, there's, and also, sorry, you can do a walking thing that costs four each. It's like a euro each. So I think we're going to do that as well, which would be nice. So that's the place where I just went to the toilet and where they do food. This is where you come and do the walking thing. You can see the path throughout the fields but if you look at the 
like bushes I guess, like tea bushes. You can see it's almost like a pattern, a bit like a brain or something. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna get some food here. This is the option. They do durian tea, which is unusual. <laughs> I think I'm gonna either get a burger and fries or chicken nuggets and fries, something just quick and easy. They also have strawberry cheesecake, brownie, carrot cake, spaghetti, tuna sandwich, things like that. And then this is the restaurant. Loads and loads and loads of seafood, which is brilliant. And then up there, there's the views of the tea fields. Okay, so I ordered a chicken burger and fries and a strawberry tea, so I thought we could try this together. I got iced strawberry tea, so it's cold. It is so sweet. Ooh. I thought it would be like real strawberries, because I'm since there's strawberries here, but it's very, very, very sweet. Anyway, now I'm gonna wait for our food. Hopefully it won't be too long. So, Jeremy got rice and chicken, which looks all right, and then I got burger and fries, which looks kind of gross. Oh, look at that burger. I don't know what that is. Is it cold? No. Okay, so lunch was absolutely disgusting. Like, the bottom piece of my burger was hard as anything, and the tea was the sweetest drink I've had in such a long time. I don't usually drink, I actually really enjoy sweet tea and sweet food and drinks in general but this was so so sweet it was disgusting we've now paid for local money i think something like that to come and walk through the tea leaves you're obviously not allowed to pick them or anything but you can walk around there's different paths and things so it's nice to be able to see it up close and actually walk around a little bit in the sunshine it says enter at your own risk but it seems a little bit excessive <laughs> but never mind these are the views it's incredible Okay, so Jamie managed to fly the drone. Um, I'm sure probably already put footage in there. But we are now gonna make our way back up into town. It says it'll take about 50 minutes to walk back up. Obviously, it's mostly uphill. Um, and I also think we're gonna stop along the way so Jamie can fly the drone above the road because it's quite windy. And I think it'd be quite cool to get video like bird's eye view like straight above, if that makes sense. So, oh, I'm already out of breath. Okay, so we have arrived at Opa Strawberries. It's just behind me here, but there's a strawberry plantation thing. I don't know what you would call it. It's not a field <laughs> in front of me. So I thought I would show you, but it's so cute. Look at the strawberries growing and it's huge. And they're all stacked up. So there's one, two, three, four layers of strawberries and they're even hanging as well. There's so many of them. Cute, it's huge. Okay, so that's the strawberry field farm thing I was just showing you and then this Oprah place is on the right hand side I think we're going to go and get dessert there after so we're going to go for a walk around just at the moment so there's some fruit and veg shops and of course most of them are selling strawberries uh, this is a different one I do build bad drink oh that's hard to say for a dyslexic person strawberry ice creams they're selling strawberries lots of different strawberry products basically so we've come to a touristy shop and there's loads of different strawberry jams which is interesting because you would think they would produce their own and just have theirs but no they have kind of maybe 10 different brands they've got strawberry concentrate which is a bit like squash that one and that one strawberry white coffee 
strawberry tea, um, candy flask. We also got different other teas, like that's where we went to yesterday, Cameron Valley. These smell absolutely insane. They smell so, so good. Okay, so we have come to the Opal Farm Place Cafe. We basically ordered two things. There was one huge waffle with strawberry ice cream, strawberries and like chocolate stuff, I think. And then also a strawberry pie. And we're going to share them because we kind of wanted both, which is good. Um, and we're kind of sat near the back near the strawberries growing which is nice there's meant to be some behind me but obviously these ones aren't growing but it's nice that you can actually feel like you're in with the nature and with the farm and with the growing and stuff so it's cool and there's the cafe behind me and Jeremy <laughs> so this is the waffle with ice cream sprinkles chocolate sauce strawberry things like that and this is the strawberry tart so hopefully it's gonna be delicious Thank you so much for watching today's video looking around Cameron Highlands. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more of my travel videos and I hope to see you soon. Bye!